For this week's video guys, I have something really romantic, sexy and spicy. So before you continue, don't say I didn't warn you, this video might be rated pregnant, okay? I have the beautiful romantic tablescape to show you guys that you can do for you and your partner and also how to turn your bedroom into a beautiful, sexy haven for Valentine's Day. If you're interested in that kind of content, keep on watching! Hey Cozy Home fam, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Shamika and this is Cozy Home by Sham. So guys, as you already know, Valentine's Day is up on us and I have something exciting planned for you guys. So for this week's video, I'm going to be showing you really cool romantic things that you can do decor-wise in your home for a beautiful date with your spouse or with your girls for Galentine's Day. So most of the stuff that I will be using, I purchased on Amazon. If you're interested in grabbing any one of these uh, things that I will be showcasing before Valentine's Day, click the link in my description to get access to my storefront and go ahead and grab them for yourselves. For the ones that I bought locally, I'll try to source them on Amazon as well and link them in the folder called Valentine's Day 2024. So you guys can go and grab it or you can run down to your nearest home decor store wherever you're located and grab something similar so for the video i'm going to be showing you two things one a beautiful tablescape that you can do in your home romantic candlelit dinner setup for you and your spouse or you can always do it with your friends for galentine's day the other setup that I'm showing you, of course, is the bedroom where all the magic happens. So I'm going to be showing you how to turn your bedroom into a beautiful, sexy, romantic haven for you and your partner. Let's go. All right, guys. So this is what the dining table is looking like right now. And as I said, I will be doing a dinner for two tablescape setup for you and your spouse for a romantic, you know, candlelit dinner or you can choose to use all the chairs around the table to do a setup for you and your girls so of course you wouldn't be putting down two plates or anything like that you would do a full setup for you and your girls for galentine's day so right here as you can see i am just cleaning the table to start with the decorating So first things first to start is this beautiful cheesecloth that I purchased from Amazon. I will be using it all scrunched up on the table as the table runner to start the process. From what you can already probably tell, this cheesecloth is very easy to work with. It is very lightweight and simple to uh, work with. And as you notice, I'm not applying it straight and flat on the table. I'm scrunching it up to give it a nice look to work with as a table runner. Okay guys, so this is not a step that you must do, but I'm going in with this pine garland that I usually use at Christmas time just to give my floral arrangement for the middle of the table some height. So I have a eucalyptus garland with some florals, florals attached to it that I want to use in the center of the table, but it was going to fall very flat, so I decided to use this uh, garland as the base to give it some height and, you know, make it look way more beautiful i will also link this on my storefront in the valentine's folder just in case you'd like to grab it or grab it from early for christmas this year all right guys here's the eucalyptus garland that i told you guys about as you can see it's thin on its own so it would definitely fall flat 
but um, from what you're seeing here I'm folding it down so it's not too long and applying it in the middle of the pine garland that I had already added to the table then I'm going in with a second uh, eucalyptus garland to go around it just to hide the pine because it's not Christmas so I am hiding it definitely Here's another cool Amazon find that I will be using for my centerpiece. So I purchased these artificial peonies that are very easy to work with. They're super bendy, so um, it allows you to flex it and use it the way that you want to. So I'm also adding those to my floral arrangement for the centerpiece. Here are another set of florals that I want to add to my centerpiece. These I didn't get on Amazon. I picked these up locally at Fontana. And guys, me don't know the names of flowers, okay? I don't know. I have a hard time with that. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to find it on Amazon for you guys. So if you don't see it, then I don't know what it's called. If you do see it, then I tried. <laughs> Also guys, to make it a lot easier to work with, I decided to cut them into smaller stems. That way I can put them at different sections of the arrangement that I'm creating. Okay, so now these florals that I'm going to be adding to the centerpiece, I got on Amazon. These are also very bendy stems to work with. So it's very, very easy to um, add to the centerpiece that I'm creating. I bought this a few years ago. Um, so I'm really going to have to search for this in my order list. That way I can add it to my storefront for you guys. So if you're interested, click the link in my description to get access to my Amazon storefront. Okay, so this one I do know the name of. I think it's called Baby's Breath. I also added it to my arrangement. I think it looks absolutely beautiful and so whimsical. I will be linking this for you guys as well, so click the link in my description. I'm also adding some pompous grass to the arrangement just to bring that nice boho element to the tablescape. You guys know I'm not very big on colors, but it's Valentine's Day. So what better to use than, you know, nice pastel color pinks and red that I will be using for the bedroom. But I still want to somehow work into it my kind of aesthetic. So adding some pompas was a must. Now that we're done with the centerpiece, it's time to add a source of warm ambient lighting just to set a nice romantic mood. And what screams romance more than a nice candlelit dinner? So of course, we're adding candles. All right, so now I'm adding this woven placemat that I also purchased from Amazon. Of course, we have to add some plates as well. And going in with this beautiful napkin design that I did for the tablescape. All right, so let's break things down for the napkin design that I did. So the napkin holder, the woven one that you're looking at, I purchased on Amazon as you can see um, you can follow the same method that I'm doing to fold the napkin here the napkin wasn't from Amazon I struggled to find a nice color pink napkin so I bought a white one locally and just got some fabric dye and turned it pink so I'm taking the pink napkin through the hole of the napkin holder as well and spreading the white napkin underneath it to create a nice look and adding a piece of floral Okay, so as we continue to put the finishing touches, of course, I'm adding wine glass and this beautiful rattan detail drinking glass that I picked up at Fontana. 
To add more ambient lighting, I purchased these tea light holders from Amazon along with these water activated tea lights. So once you put them in the holder and add light to it, well add water to it, then it should light up. Link is in the description. Here's a quick little demonstration. Just as you're seeing here, I added water and it lit up all on its own. Have to go in with some silverwares as well. I wanted to use gold but I don't own one and it would have been too late. To get them in time for the video so we're working with what we have i absolutely love these battery operated candles that i purchased from amazon it's not always good to have open fire in the home so these always come in really really handy and still gives you the nice effect of a candle lit dinner with no flame and of course guys i have linked it on my Amazon storefront in the Valentine's 2024 folder. So click the link in my description to go grab you some. This battery operated light was another cool Amazon find that provides beautiful up lighting in your home. You will see exactly how I decided to utilize it in my space, but you can also put it at the base of your plants in your plant pot to provide beautiful up lighting. But anyways, let's take a look at the finished tablescape. Now that you've already seen the tablescape all done up in regular lighting, I think it's time I go ahead and show you what it looks like, lights off, mood lights and on with candle lights going crazy. Let's go. Okay y'all, this is what the bedroom currently looks like and I know guys, I still have the pictures of the owls up. I just haven't had the chance to switch it out to my husband and I's pictures since I got back from Florida. But give me time, I promise I'm gonna change it. Okay, so for the bedroom, I'm starting out with 
two white towels i'm folding it from one corner really tightly what i'm trying to create is a swan so i'm gonna have the swans meet together to kind of create a heart shape in the middle of the bed so you want to roll those as tight as possible to the center on both sides so make sure you find the center of the towel and roll both sides as tight as you can to the center so as you can see i've done that for both towels and now i'm going to be shaping them um, into the heart shape that i want Okay, so to create really beautiful tails for the swans that I have done, I'm folding some hand towels like a fan. So as you can see, just follow the same motion that I'm doing there on camera to create that um, fan-like shape and add it to the end of the towel like I will show you. So guys, once you're done folding the hand towel like a fan, you fold it in half and do the same placement that I'm doing here and you kind of spread it out a bit just to have that nice pattern on the base of the swans that you'd have created with towels. And to bump things up a notch with the sexy vibe, of course, I'm going in with some faux um, rose petals on the bed. I'm going to be sprinkling that all over the room on the ground as well. I also picked up these um, rose stems from Amazon. I will be linking it, so click the link in my description and placing that nicely on the bed like you see there. Going in with this beautiful acrylic tray as well with some rose petals in the tray. Also to the tray, I am adding some wine glasses. And what's a good sexy time without a nice, dirty, flirty game for you and your partner to enjoy on Valentine's night? I did not purchase this, I was gifted it, so I'll try to see if I can link it on my storefront. In this clear jar are handwritten dirty pleasures that your partner can pick from as the night progresses in terms of what you would like done to you. Also, the night is definitely not complete without a good bottle of wine. I'm also adding a few of these votive candles around the room for ambiance. Coming back again with these battery operated up lighting to create some sexy mood lights in the bedroom. For these mood lights, I have switched them over to red and will be adding them in the four corners of the room. And to add more warm ambient lighting, of course, I'm turning on this warm light wall sconce. To finish off the mood lighting, I also have a strip light installed behind my headboard, so I'm switching that on and I'm turning it to red. Alright, I know you're loving the bedroom so far, but if you think you love it in regular lighting, let's show you what it looks like with the red sexy mood light. Let's take a look.
that's it guys for this week's video if you made it to the end of this video thank you so very much as usual for watching my content supporting my content if you've ever liked subscribe share or commented i love you from the bottom of my heart and i truly appreciate the support i do check my analytics by the way and if you are one of them that watch but you're not subscribed please click the subscribe button okay if you're watching right now and you have not subscribed please go ahead and click the subscription button so that you get notified the next time i drop a video okay i must say a huge thanks and shout out to everyone though that have already subscribed how am i already at 2000 subscribers i am really grateful for my journey here on youtube and for all the support that you guys give me thank you thank you thank you so very much for growing the cozy home fam don't forget to sound off in the comments what you think about the video what you might be trying what you want to see me do next and also remember this is just part one i have one more thing to show you that you can do just in time for valentine's day that will not break the bank all right so anyways guys thanks again so much for watching remember to put god first in whatever it is that you do and all will be well i will see you all in the next video bye